It is 417 right now. Here's a live look over downtown Indianapolis. We're sitting in the 40s this morning, about 48 degrees. So depending on where your temperature lies, I don't know if this is comfortable for you or cool or warm or what, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not a bad Monday, really. Mm -hmm. You just got to, you know, factor maybe the jacket in this morning, Marcus. Yeah, I think so, right? And then we're coming off a halfway decent weekend here. Obviously, we had to contend with a few showers and thunderstorms Saturday night. Uh, thankfully, we kind of avoided any significant severe weather, so that was a good thing. And then Sunday was kind of breezy, but it was nice to have some sunshine. And we are talking cooler temperatures this morning, but not horrible. We're at 46, and I do think we're going to rebound nicely. It's a southwest wind at around 7 miles per hour. 53 Muncie, 46 Columbus, 44 currently in Bloomington. We're up to 50 right now in South Bend. So there's a lot of spots where it's, you know, cool, crisp but not really, really chilly. And I do think we bounce back in a big way. You're going to get a lot of sunshine today. Numbers should get close to 70, which is normal for this time of year. And note those winds out of the west-southwest between 5 and 10 miles per hour. So nowhere near the gusts that we had to deal with yesterday. Overhead, it is a clear sky. Now, we do have some clouds building back out toward just west of the Mississippi River, and you see numerous showers and thunderstorms out toward the central plains. That's going to be kind of the focal point for severe weather as we go through the day today. In fact, that's an enhanced risk over portions of Oklahoma and southern Kansas. That threat's going to shift eastward for the day tomorrow, and it does kind of involve Parts of central and especially southern Indiana, Indy technically not included in this marginal risk, but southeastern portions of the metro are. But I think anywhere around the metropolitan area, we could have maybe some gusty storms. Let's walk you through the timetable here. Future cast, so we take you to 5 o'clock this evening. We're fine today, so there are no issues for the daytime hours. If your kiddos have sporting events, practices, or games for the early to mid-evening hours, you're fine. Now, clouds will build. We do feel that by, let's say, 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, some scattered showers certainly are possible and some rumbles of thunder during the overnight hours leading into daybreak tomorrow. This is at 6 a.m. This would be kind of a heavy rain look, maybe even a few thunderstorms possible. Through midday, you've got some scattered showers around. There could be some stronger storms along a cold front, mainly, again, in the southern parts of the state. That's around 5 o'clock. Note those winds, too, out of the south and west around 15 miles per hour. So a little windy tomorrow. And then once the front moves out, you'll start to get more of a northwesterly flow and we'll dry things out as we head into your into your Wednesday. In terms of severe weather threats for the day on Tuesday, I think wind is going to be the primary concern. Can't rule out maybe a spin up of a tornado. I think that's going to be much, much closer to the Ohio River and south of there. There's also a little bit of a hail threat, but again, I think that's mainly in the southern portions of the state. Flooding could be a concern where some areas, many areas, in fact, with some of the heavy rain uh, could pick up to around an inch. And we already had a pretty healthy amount with some of the storms that came in during uh, Saturday evening and Saturday overnight. So just be aware of that. Not going to be as chilly tonight. 56 and again, increasing clouds, scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, possible. Winds should be relatively light, mid 50s to upper 50s when you wake up tomorrow morning. So it will be a warmer start. Numbers should be a touch warmer during the day tomorrow. We'll be in the lower 70s, despite the fact that it's going to be pretty gloomy. 74 in Columbus, 73 for your high in Bloomington. We are a touch cooler then on the back end of that front on Wednesday with numbers into the mid-60s. We have several more rain opportunities. I think we'll have a chance coming our way Thursday, Friday, and even on Saturday as well. We'll have to watch Saturday. I think it's very isolated. Of course, it's mini marathon Saturday, so a very busy weekend coming up for Mother's Day weekend. Uh, right now, we're not going to call Saturday a wash. I think there's just a chance there, and I think we're going to be able to get in the mini marathon just fine. But our temperatures are fluctuating a lot. 70 Thursday, 64 Friday. Nearing 70 on Saturday should be dry for Mother's Day into the mid-70s. We could be pushing 80 by this time next week. All right. Sounds